Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Pelletier and I'm an instructor for Waffle Flower Crafts. I'm at scrapbook.com today showing you guys how to make some really fun cards with new products by Waffle Flower Crafts. We're going to make this beautiful beach card today using the Sandy Toes stamp set. And we're going to watercolor this scene in a couple strokes. Okay, we're going to start by creating our watercolor beach scene. I have a piece of watercolor paper here. It is five by seven. You want to start with a piece larger than what you're actually going to end up with. We will eventually cut this down to an A2 panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using Gonsai Tombi watercolors today to create this scene. And I'm actually going to only use three colors, this blue, this lovely teal, and this sandy color here. I'm going to start by adding some water to my palette. Just going to spray a little bit of water into the three colors. Now that I've added the water, I'm going to get my brush. I'm using a number nine round brush today. Move this over. I'm going to start with my water. I'm going to mix the brush with the water and the paint. And then with long strokes, move my brush over the surface. Get a little bit more paint here do another stroke. As you can see, as I move my brush over the paper, I get the breaking of the paint, and this creates the illusion of waves or surf. Now I'm going to move on to the sand. Last thing I'm going to do while the surface is still wet, I'm going to take a baby wipe, scrunch it up, and create some clouds by picking up some of that blue watercolor. Since you have the materials out, it's fun to create a couple of scenes because sometimes with watercolor, your accidents are your favorite ones. I'm actually going to use this panel that I created earlier because I really like the way the brush broke over here and really created the illusion of the wave. I'm going to grab my A2 nesting rectangle die set here and grab the largest die. This is the size of an A2 panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to die cut this panel out, but I'm going to also use it to kind of crop this five by seven watercolor scene down. And I can pick which parts, if I want more sky, more sand, this wave, I can choose how I want to crop this down. I think I'm going to go right here. So I went and die cut this panel. Just going to remove the die here. And it leaves a beautiful stitched edge to this watercolor beach scene. I'm going to put that aside. And now I'm going to work on some of the images. I've already stamped and heat embossed images from the Sandy Toe stamp set. And I'm going to watercolor these as well. Okay, so now my images are watercolored. I'm going to let them dry and then I'll be ready to assemble this card. Now that my images are dry, I'm ready to construct my scene. I've already went ahead and stamped my sentiment in some grains of sand using sentiments from the Sandy Toes stamp set. I stamped Come to the Beach, but there's some really great sentiments in this set as well as Life is Better at the Beach, Cheers to Flip Flops and Sandy Toes some really fun sentiments in this set. I'm going to start by adhering this panel onto a side folding A2 card base. I'm just going to rotate my card around and adhere it like this. I'm going to use some liquid adhesive. Stick it right down onto my card base. And now I'm going to start to adhere my images. I'm going to glue this flip-flop up in the air because you can see he's missing one flip-flop because he's running so quickly to the beach that his flip-flop goes flying off. I love that story that it creates simply by a flip-flop not being on his foot. Now I'm going to trim the overhang here. Just pick up the car. Actually, I'm going to turn the card over. 
makes it a little bit easier to trim and just use some scissors. Hold the blade right up against the card and snip that off. And this card is done. I love the movement and energy in these images. They are so fun. They really convey the excitement of going to a beach. So I hope you enjoyed this close up on the Sandy Toes stamp set and the Sandy Toes matching dies. Thanks for watching. If you like this video from scrapbook.com and want to see more, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!